you finally get to sit down and have some time to yourself to create social media content. And here you are experiencing this brain fog of, I have no idea of what to write. If that sounds like you today, I am going to talk about the seven easy tips of how to create catchy social media content that not only grabs your followers' attention, but actually get them to come back for more. Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify their social media marketing so that they can get seen, get hurt and get paying clients. If you have not already done so, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that every time I put out a new video, you'll get notified that a new episode is coming out. Something that I see a lot of coaches are struggling with is that they have tons of idea, they have paper everywhere, and their idea is just floating around in their mind and on their desk. It's like a never ending chaos. It's like when they finally get to sit down and actually write their content, there's this huge mental block where they just having a lot of trouble to overcome. So today we're going to talk about the seven tips on how you can create catchy and compelling social media content that your followers will want to come back more. Grab a pen and grab your coffee. We're going to get started. Tip number one is just to start writing. My personal favorite is having a pen and piece of paper to actually just jot down all my ideas, no judgment whatsoever, and it doesn't even have to be a perfect English. So whatever that I have in my mind, I'm just going to write it down on a piece of paper and do not worry about making it perfect because at this point of stage, you're just writing down ideas. So the key thing is to get your idea down and you can always edit it and polish it later because there's a rhythm to the way that we think. So if you happen to write two sentences and you're having this urge to go back and edit it, then you're actually breaking that train of thoughts. The first tip is to actually just start writing and don't judge and just allow your thoughts and your ideas to flow on the piece of paper if you like, or if you're a digital person, you can definitely do that on your digital app. And it's an easy way of keeping track of what you need to write down. One of my favorite app is Notion. And one of my favorite way to jot down and brainstorm all these ideas is I have a dedicated section where I keep all these ideas flowing and I just jump, brain dump it on that section of my Notion. I'm going to link a couple of video down below so that you can check out my content creation process using Notion. Tip number two is to keep it simple. In the world of social media, less is more. So if you are someone who tend to create and write a lot, it almost feels like you're writing an academic paper. Please don't do that. <laughs> Your message should be clear and concise. And you wanted to definitely avoid coaching jargon, things like that's reached to your full personal potential, which is very commonly seen on a lot of coaches' social media posts. And while it is true that you're helping people to unlock their full potential, but most people don't go around and looking to unlock their full potential. One of the jokes I always have with my audience is that if you are a coach and you're helping me reaching my full potential, I'm less likely to sign up with you versus someone who come and tell me that, hey, I can help you to grow better tomato in your garden. Would you be interested? I'm intrigued. In other words, most people don't go around using the jargon that you're using within the coaching industry. So be sure to avoid those words that you typically use with your coaching peers because your everyday people do not use the full potential. I am not definitely looking to unlock my full potential on a daily basis. You also want to keep it simple in terms of the phrases that you use. When you're reading social media posts, it tends to be less formal. It's more conversational. I don't have long sentences and it doesn't have to be grammatically perfect. It doesn't have to be spelling error proof. Social media posts is something that's more relaxed. Uh, consider it as an entertainment where you're entertaining but educating your followers at the same time. So if you find yourself writing social media posts like this, 
stop doing that and start doing this. Break up your text so that it's easier to digest and it's easier to read. Tip number three is to put the most important message that you want to convey in the first sentence. Most of us, we do not open and scroll and read the whole entire post. So whatever it is that's important for you to say, then go ahead and say it right off the back because that is going to catch people's attention whether or not they want to actually to read up for the rest of the post. You only have a few seconds in order to make that first impression. So make it count, start with a big band and make your audience want to actually open up and click to read more. Here's an example of what it looks like when you see it on Facebook. You only have a couple of lines and characters, so you definitely want to make sure whatever that you have to say, it goes in that first couple of sentences so that your potential client would actually want to click and read more of it. Now, just a precaution, I know a lot of times coaches have this tendency of calling out their audience. For example, the other day I came across someone keep repeating midlife women. After a while, people start tuning you out and that post just get boring. So you don't want to keep repeating yourself over and over because you're actually creating readers fatigue. So Every time you post, it is less likely that your post is going to get seen if every single post that you start begins with for midlife women. Moving up, tip number four, determine the purpose of your social media post. Are you going to provide information? Are you going to provide some entertainment or call to action? Knowing the purpose is going to help you to guide the tone and the style of your post to make sure that your message is actually delivering it and heading home. One of the tools that I share with my audience and my community is a content framework that I have included in the social media content planner. And inside that planner, I walk you through exactly the step-by-step step of how to map out a social media post. And you're going to see an example here, and this is what it looks like. So basically what you want to do is you want to identify your content topic. And once you have the topic identified, then you want to give your post a purpose. What is that purpose? You want to promote? Are you inviting your audience to a discovery call? Are you educating them about some key lessons that you have learned? What is it that you want this post to do? So you got to identify that into your content before you even start creating it. And by identifying, give Giving your post a purpose, then you can actually tailor your voice, your tone, your writing styles to making sure that all the message is congruent and it has a consistency before you hit publish. Tip number five is to make your post accessible. One of the big tips that I give all my community member is that when you go into your Facebook profile, you want to make sure that if you're using your profile to gain followers and to create brand awareness to your coaching business, then you want all your posts to be seen as public. And you can do so by going into the setting, the privacy section to make sure that your posts are public and not private. This way, more people who are not currently on your friends list would be able to follow you and be able to read your post. If you're missing that single step, then a lot of your posts will not get seen by people who are not on your friends list. And the truth is social media is a great way to reach out to more audience and more people so that they can know your business and what you do. If you're planning to have an online coaching business, you definitely want to consider changing your setting from private to public so that more people would know what you do and how they can possibly be working with you. Tip number six is to use emotion. Emotion drives engagement. If someone resonates with it, it's a great laugh. It creates entertainment, surprise, and even sometimes anger and discussions when the content resonates. Remember, authenticity is the key. So let your genuine feelings lead the way and tell your stories whether it's inspiration or entertainment, you definitely want to infuse your personality into every social media post for your followers to have a chance to get to know you and what does it feel like to be in your world. Last but not least, tip number seven to make sure you use storytelling. Stories captivate us and it is how we connect and how we relate our 
experiences and lessons that we have learned, or even sometimes testimonials is going to allow your followers to connect with you on a deeper level so that they can see their own transformation. Don't shy away from sharing your personal experience or your client's experiences with your audience. The story is a great way of how you capture people's attention bring them closer to your world so that they get a sneak peek of what it feels like to be working with you. And there you have it, ladies. Here are the seven easy way to create catchy social media content that not only grabs your followers' attention, but keep them coming back for more. Remember, catchy content is all about making that connection with your audience, spark that curiosity, and speak directly into the heart of your dream clients. If you'd like to learn more about how I help coaches to build a profitable coaching business by getting seen, heard, and paying clients, I'm going to share a link down below. You can check out the Profitable Coach Formulas. I only offer this a couple of times in the year. You can hop onto my waiting list and the next time enrollment open, you'll be the first to know. But in the meantime, I talked about the seven easy tips to create catchy social media content that captivate your audience. And these seven tips are just start writing, keep it simple, making sure that you have the most important part of your message going first. And then you wanted to make sure to give your social media post a purpose. What do you want this post to do for you? Is it promotion? Is it just calm and sharing information with you? Or do you want to invite people to a discovery call? You got to give your social media post a purpose. And then you wanted to make sure that your post is accessible to everyone, including those who's not currently on your friends list, who's just complete stranger who happens to stumble upon your social media posts. And don't be shy away from using emotions and connect with your audience with storytelling. Here's your action step for this week is to take these tips, experiment, and watch your social media visibility going up. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips like this. Until next time, keep coaching. Bye for now.